so Hero back to PS2, and now this is someone with a speed art. Logarth, of course, going Shulk. Louis e opting to choose the hero. Shulk's speed art, interesting. Hero has his own answer to that with the Accelerattle, and we'll have to see if either one of them challenges the other if they throw it out first. Meanwhile, it's Logarth who's been taking most of the damage to start. Zooms away on stage, although that does leave you vulnerable when you're coming back. Nevertheless, a healthy 50% lead. That forward tilt doing well, but his zap, not the best option, and that speed art will allow him to get a bit of stage control, but only for the moment. Carries that, and that forward smash will be his reward. Another 25%. And here's where Logarth can make this even. That smash attack not, or that smash art not doing it, but that to zap, or that, uh, that swoosh, rather, not being enough to make it back on stage. That is the reward for so many of Schultz's uh, well-timed darts. Buster coming out, and now he will give an attack on this damage. Joker going for the Hatchet Man. That is a guaranteed critical hit if it does connect, but again, a big if. Psych up, uh, his next attack will be having additional damage, although he just wastes it there with hit one forward tilt. That's not how you want to be using Psych up. Tilt is almost entirely out of arts in that back air. We'll finish off the first dot. So Louis V, you know, a fast learner from what I've seen so far. That up tilt, putting him right back in this after an unfortunate instant put. And there we see the Accelerado, only for a brief moment. Two very fast boys coming out. Shield art on the platform. Not going to quite get the full range there, but that's no different. Back throws him off stage. Off to charge with the zap and just use it. Gets the bang with that down B, that down special. So many different spells to choose from. Picking the right one in a moment's notice, that dash attack will kill. So now we see Hero looking in a good position mana wise, although the smash art coming out from Logarth. That fair will reach through the platform, that jump. Just gonna pop the swoosh right out of danger there. Before they get some offstage once more. Back throw. Bounce. And I'm not quite sure what the bounce was useful for in this particular matchup. Schultz, of course, not exactly the most battle user in that forward smash. I was to say, what are you doing? It's not as if, you know, you're not, I'm not sending anything to you. You're not gonna send anything to that. Although, Louis V will be sending stuffed out to Logarth. That's a 105% lead at the moment, and that could frizz. will only extend it further. The Buster Art looking to close that deficit fast. And that forward smash, enough to do it without the critical hit as well. Louis V showing the strengths of this character, and a lot of, uh, a lot of Louis V's success can be particularly attributed to his resource management. Never seemed to be even below half MP. So he was using some of those, you know, those specials pretty sparingly in favor of a lot of neutral tools. And of course you do gain MP back from just simply making contact with your opponent in neutral. So just going for that whenever your MP is fairly low. And just letting your letting your neutral play do the rest. Uh, Three, good stuff to him, and one, so we'll be looking to see if it'll continue on PS2. Uh, down, this is already a lot better start for Logard. 27% of early damage in the Buster Art, 48% climbing on stage. Another forward throw, and the Smash Art. Although that was a very missed time forward smash on Logarth Art after what was such a strong start. And now here's where Louis V can start to throw out some of his own moves. These are two characters with not the quickest aerials, but they do hit pretty hard if they manage to make contact, and both of them individually have tools to boost their own attacks as well. He goes for the heal. Uh, you can use that twice per stop. So some of the concerns of that being potentially overpowered if, you know, if it's been managed to use that repeatedly. Perhaps unfounded. The Accelerottle, uh, not going to do it. Swoosh, and that ups up tilt through the platform with the Smash Art. 
from Logar already doing a lot better above that forward smash from Louis D. Already even. He throws out the bounce again for some reason. I'm not quite sure what he's wishing to gain from that. And the Buster Art taking Louis V up to 87 damage. And another forward smash. Smash Art boosted quite more than enough. That's a zero to death for anyone keeping track at home. And now Logar can start to make these moves in neutral. Jump Art coming out. Up airs through the platform. Accelerado, he'll have his speed. Shulk, of course, not quite used to being outsped in most matchups. Usually when he does, he'll have his speed art on deck, although the back air is a great return option from Logar. Louis V. How would you do this? Hero's ground speed, of course, very good with all that forward smash. Ground speed will not save you there. Logarth evening it out 1-1. One, one. We already saw a lot of counterplay coming in. You know, not panicking when the Accelerado came out, just getting him off stage. We saw the shield art coming on early there when uh, the psych up came out on Louis V's part. So that's direct counterplay already. So both of the, you know, we've seen so many people on Twitter just refer to Hero as this, oh, it's just a mixture of Link and Shulk and Robin. And while the tools are similar, you know, they do have sort of direct counterplays to each other. Uh, game three, three same characters, two, the third different one, stage of the set. Palos, jump art can come out immediately, and the Accelerado on the part of Louis V. It's as if he's, you know, checking to see if he's going to immediately go to speed art. And if not, you know, he'll just say, if he does go to speed art, I'll just been, I'll be able to just wait out those five or ten seconds or so and then counter with my Accelerado if I'm lucky. But since he did just start with the jump art, uh, no sense in really saving anything there. That forward, that backslash, and that forward will keep him off. The jump art is going to be enough to edge guard. Oh, and he makes it back with the Kaswoosh with that forward smash as if it's for nothing. Logar taking the first off with only 25% of where to show for it. That dash attack will add a little bit too. Now the speed are coming out from Louis V. Shield art from Logarth. And now Buster. Uh, bang coming out. Really good choice of options there. You can see the Accelerado probably not going to be that useful from a distance, but knowing so many of these moves and when to use them, what situations to use, which one. Hatchet Man not going to connect. It is a very high risk, high reward play going for some of these attacks. Not only the smash attacks, but every character has this, you saw right there, even without the crit enough. Hocus Pocus going to be self-inflicting poison damage, it looks like, so a negative effect for Louis V. How will he deal with that? That combined with a small combo will take him up to 118. And that is just blood in the water to a shelf man. Logarth looking good in solid position, a full stock and then some ahead. Dash attack just let go of shield a bit too early to get the parry, but get down throw no matter. Parry the forward smash. Although he opts to use the extra time switching the buster. Instead of the octave, he go for an octave punish. That down tilt. The forward smash. Although into a very protected Louis V. That forward tilt with smash are almost enough to do it on its own. Although that the swoosh, not quite. Carries another forward smash, and now how will Louis V get back? Just goes for the swoosh, I believe that is. Uh, the medium of the three uppy choices. Now the back throw, the up throw rather, just goes for the DI mix up. Smash yard, just looking to seal it off as soon as he can. Goes for the hatchet man. Not quite sure how good that is with an anti-airing move, but the forward smash, no matter, goes to the Sizz. And this time, that'll just close it out. Uh, they do go for the fist bump. This is so much of why 
Hero is just an enigma for so many people playing it because you can see as much as I praised him for, you know, being able to keep that MP check.